Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Today is the day. The day. The day. Today I'm gonna post my entry for the top 30 in Nordic Face Awards. I'm still so honored and so thankful for being a part of this journey. I'm so excited to share this look with you guys. Challenge number one was pastel dreams. The first thing that went through my mind when I heard pastel dreams was like unicorns, mermaids, cupcakes, rainbows, rainbow hair, stuff like that. And I was like, <clears throat> isn't that a little bit obvious? So I, I needed to make this to my own thing and I love darker creatures like monsters, demons, devils, stuff like that. And I was thinking, what haven't I done before? And I was like, <clears throat> You never done a snake, you never done a dragon, you never done something reptile, you never done a crocodile. So I was like, mm, okay, let's make a dragon slash hybrid slash dragon slash crocodile slash reptile. So I created this reptile slash dragon slash crocodile slash hybrid something like that. Look, I'm really proud of this creature. I love him. He's so cute. Can I say that about myself? So, in this video, I'm gonna give you all the details about the products. This video is sponsored by NYX Professional Makeup, so 99% of the makeup I'm using in this video is from NYX Professional Makeup, period. So if I'm not mentioning a product, it's not from NYX Professional Makeup. That's it. But I can say from my heart, it's only one product of makeup that's not from NYX Professional Makeup. Get it? Are you excited? I'm so excited to share this. So, if you like this look, please give me a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you'd like to see more. And if you want to see more, please also follow my Instagram. It's Linus Maudits. So easy. So, please enjoy, have fun, and have a pastel dreams, y'all. Bye. Waking up So guys, let's get started. I'm starting off by just taking off my clothes actually and putting in my contacts. I'm covering up my eyebrows using a regular glue stick. It's water-based so you can just wash it off with hot water. And I'm also covering up my sides of my head to make that bald illusion. So it's a lot of glue actually, just a lot of glue. And when I'm done, I'm setting it with HD Studio Photogenic Finishing Powder. And then it makes it more like, yeah, a flat surface. And while the eyebrows and sides of my head is drying, I started covering up my chest with HD Studio Photogenic Foundation in vanilla and half of my face. When the glue is dry, I also covering up that part of my face. Going in with a really thick concealer and I put it under my eyes, my forehead, my nose and a little bit on the sides of my head. Baking and setting my face using the Holographic Halo Finishing Powder in the shade Mermaising to get that more of a shiny, flawless look.
To get this reptile pattern on my skin, I'm using a fishnet stocking as a base, and then I'm going in with the ultimate multi-finish shadow palette called Electric and the matte pink shade for contouring. And I'm using this all over. So I contour my cheeks, my chin, my nose, yeah, everything. To highlight, I'm using Love You So Muchi Arcade Glam Palette in the brightest shade. Love Contours All Palette and the shade number 4 to get a deeper contour. Using the same palette again called Electric and the matte green for sculpting out my new crease. I'm cutting out my crease with the same foundation as before and I'm filling in the crease with a cream eyeliner in the shade Killing It. Look how shiny and bright. To get more dimension to the eye, I paint on a white line on the top of my crease with white liquid liner. For the underlash line, I'm using the same matte green shade from the Electric palette. To get the illusion of a bigger eye, I'm painting my waterline with the Jumbo Eye Pencil in Milk. In the center of my under eye, I'm using a little bit of foundation to cover up the green and add some glitter. Then I'm sketching out my new mouth to get that more reptile mouth and I'm using a eye brightener pen in the shade Baby Powder and then I contour that one with the pink matte color from the Electric palette. Filling that in with the Epic Ink Black Liner. To get that reptile neck, I'm using the same eye brightener pen to sketch out, yeah, my new neck. And then I'm filling that in with the same HD Studio Photogenic Foundation in Vanilla. And then setting that with the Holographic Halo Finishing Powder. I contour my neck with the matte pink color from the Electric Palette. And then to get more dimension to it, I use the green matte color to make some shades in the neck. To add more depth, I use the Epic Ink Black Liner to yeah, sketch it out even more. By using this old school trick, I'm taking a hairspray bottle and spraying my whole chest and then adding some glitter for yeah, more of a sparkly look. I'm sketching out my new nostrils by using that same eye brightener pen in baby powder and then I'm filling that in again with the Epic Ink Black Liner. And finally using the pen what it's made for, so I brighten up my eye in the inner corner. And then I make a really really tiny liner with the Epic Ink Black Liner and then I go it out with a really dramatic wing. Yeah. 
hair time. I'm teasing my hair to Denmark and back. And then I'm using a lot of hairspray. And then also some coloring spray in purple and white and actually glitter. These prosthetics are made of tin foil, tissue paper, and liquid latex. And I actually painted them off camera, but as you can see, and I'm gluing them down with latex. And to make it dry faster, I'm using a hair dryer. Adding some mascara and then it's time for lashes. I'm using NYX Professional Makeup's own lashes called Drama Queen, but I added some black paper to make them really Drama Queen. And then I'm taking this halo wrapping paper, cut it out in small lashes and put it on the, on the eye. Cool. These horns is just made of tinfoil and tape and I, yeah, put it on my head. I'm sketching out uh, the base for my really really long neck and then I'm filling it in with a water-based black color Do you see the illusion now? It's coming Going in with the pink color from the electric palette and covering up the spots that I yeah, need to cover up. And then I'm going in with the fishnet stocking again and some white hairspray color to get that more of a fishy reptile look. And a girl's best friend, diamonds. No, it's just pastel pink stones that I'm gluing down with latex to get this more of a glitter look. And yeah, I think it looks cute. One, two, three, four, five. So you can call this claws or fingers, I don't care, but these are made of tinfoil and tape, and then I coloring them with the water based black color and some pink eyeshadow from the electric palette. And then we're done, people. I hope you like this look. I really do myself. So, yeah, make sure you subscribe and give it a thumbs up. Give me a comment as well and follow my Instagram. It's just Linus Maurits. Thank you all for watching. Bye.